Nigo, our Waziri, our Chore, uh oh, Gorua, ah, say cabinet, your Waziri, or somewhere I went to Dr. William Samoruto, Wanyaka Wakolingo, you were, ah, say committee bunge, you Korawa, no monogre with bunge, your Moses Masika, we tangula, Nigo Davis Chirichir, or you Narakova Kawach or Wachikotin with Zara, Yechipara, Naboigo, Omo, or Saba Waziri, Wanda Bachor, Wanyakova, Wakolingo, I was a Wanyakova, Korana Gotabuna, but no Quagan, Bachkunakova, Korememe, your Korangana Moneli Chico. Honorable Duale, uh, you will recall that during uh, COP27, the president made it clear that Kenya's biggest export would be carbon credits and, and, uh, and, and asked for a simple and transparent system of ensuring that people can access these market systems and not just the intermediaries but also down to the local people. If approved, how are you going to ensure that this carbon trading trickles down right to the small communities? And in Go ahead. Carbon credit, carbon markets, carbon trading, carbon offsets. These are very key fundamental terminologies within the reading of the climate change. And this August House, Mr. Speaker, last year amended the Climate Change Act. To be more precise, in September, just before we had the, the, the Africa Climate Summit. Two, our president is currently the chairman of heads of state and government of the climate summit in Africa. Carbon credit or carbon market is very, very important to our communities. Our communities, mainly in the Asal, play a very, very big role. Companies abroad in the developed world who are responsible for the emission of the greenhouse gas, which in our case, our contribution is only 0.3%. While we only contribute 0.3%, on the flip side, we are the biggest victims, we are the vulnerables. So these companies, whether they're in the oil exploration, whether they're in the airline industry, they pollute the outer atmosphere. And they get involved in carbon trading and carbon market. Carbon market is just where you provide a mechanism an infrastructure where both the private and the public sector engage.